everybody welcome back to epic beauty fail i'm jessica on today's video we're going to be doing my year-end wrap-up of foundation reviews so if you haven't been around my channel before i do five days of foundation every month uh the first week of the month every single month during 2018 i did five days of foundation a couple of months i even did six days of foundation so i have tried over 60 foundations this year um yeah it was fun uh, I've been trying to find foundations that I like for my skin and quite honestly my skin has changed dramatically in the 12 months if you go back and look at my January videos I was about 60 pounds heavier then um, and my face was a lot more full and now that I've lost a bunch of weight my skin is a lot looser a lot more pliable than it was if that's the proper term maybe I'm not sure um, so my skin's changed and I'm also very dry now, right now now, uh, throughout the year, my, my skin has changed very dramatically from being oily to normal to dry. I mean, I run the gamut. So um, my skin's definitely changed a bit. But I went through, I looked at all of my notes. I've looked back through videos. I watched my wrap-up videos. I watched individual videos. I've looked at all of my notes that I've taken throughout the year. And I decided on four bottom foundations that I really didn't like and I absolutely would not recommend for anyone who has weird skin like I do and my six top foundations. So I have 10 foundations in this video and not five and five. I just really couldn't find a fifth one that I really didn't like very much and I had a sixth top that I really did like. So real quick, I want to touch on my December wrap up. I didn't really do an individual December wrap up and I'll tell you really quickly why. They were all stick foundations and to be honest with you, they were all okay. They were all okay. I can't tell you that was it, there was any, any really differentiation. They weren't my favorite stick foundations. I've had other stick foundations that I really, really do enjoy um, that I've tried throughout the year, but the ones that I tried this month, they were all just kind of okay. Um, I went back and tr I've tried them several times. I've uh, looked at the videos again and they weren't bad. In fact, um, they were pretty good. They were pretty good. Um, some of them better than others. So I could have ranked those, but I figured I would rather just do a full year wrap up video than do an individual December video. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm going to do in 2019 here in just a couple of minutes. So none of those foundations, I did six in December. None of those are actually included in this video because none of them ranked in the top or in the bottom for the year. So they were all pretty good. If you're interested in looking at the individual videos, go back and check those out earlier in this uh, month. So let's go ahead and go to my bottom four first, and then we'll go and do the, the, uh, my top six for 2018. Now there are a couple of foundations that I tried in 2017 that are still some of my top foundations. Um, I'm just going to name a couple of them real quick. The Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I do really like that one. The Tarte, um, what is it? The water foundation. I really like that one as well, but those were not included in my 2018 videos. So I'm not going to be talking about either one of those. Um, so let's go ahead and go into my bottom four. So believe it or not, I actually have a powder foundation as probably my fourth up from the bottom. Um, this one wasn't horrible, but it really didn't give me any coverage. Um, so that's why it's actually in my bottom four. I don't think that this should be called a foundation at all. The, oh, did I tell you what this is? This is the Tarte uh, Creamy Powder Foundation. I got it in the shade Fair Neutral. Um, I just don't think that this did much of anything. I think it's it would probably be a very big waste of money. There are other powders that do better than this, setting powders that do better than this, powder foundations that do better than this. I used quite a bit of this foundation. Um, the imprint is pretty much gone and I just never got anything out of this. So the reason why this is on my bottom four, unlike some other foundations that might have been worse looking on my skin is because um, I don't feel like this is worth the price. Period. End of story. Um, because this did absolutely nothing. Um, if I swatch it, it just completely disappears, completely disappears. It's almost like a translucent powder and it's, it, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Just going to leave it at that. All right. My third from the bottom or my third bottom, 
I don't know. Whatever you want to say. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. I did not like how this looked on my skin. It looked horrendous on my skin. I've looked at other videos. I can't find a single person who said they really like this foundation. Maybe I'm just not watching enough reviews of this foundation, but I can't find a single person who said they like this foundation. That is not true for my other two foundations, by the way. But this one, it seems to be universally disliked. I've watched videos with people with dry skin. I've watched people with, people with uh, oily skin. It doesn't seem like anybody likes this foundation. But it looked horrendous on my skin. It looked absolutely horrendous on, this, on my skin. I will never wear this again. Never. Period. End of story. So if you find a YouTuber or anyone, not even, it doesn't have to be on YouTube, a blog post or whatever, anyone who actually likes this foundation, let me know because I want to go watch their video and see what they're doing differently from what I'm doing and what other people are doing um, to see like what they're doing that they like it. I just can't find anybody who likes this foundation. It, it looked horrendous on my skin. All right, this next one might be a little bit controversial because a lot of people love this foundation, like love it, love it. I could not get it to work on my skin. I even bought two shades. I'm gonna show you the lids. I bought two shades of this because the original shade was too dark and then they brought in their, their um, range. So I bought the lightest shade to see if that would help and it still looks horrendous on my skin. And maybe it's because I'm a little bit older and this is a full cover, like super full coverage foundation and it just doesn't look good on my fan skin. And it is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. Now I did try this one. I think I wrote down what month I tried this one. The NYX one I tried in November, I think. I'm pretty sure this was a November foundation. And the Tarte um, Creamy Powder Foundation... This one was in, hold on one second. This one was in August. So if you want to check this out, this was back in August. And like I said, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop was in November. If you want to go back and look at those. This foundation was, was actually in January. This goes the whole way back to January. My very first five days of foundation, the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I only tried the Creamy Vanilla then. I did buy the Porcelain, which is 00A, 00A. This one was 01. The, the Creamy Vanilla was 01. I did go back and buy the um, Porcelain shade and I still couldn't get it to look good. This just looks horrible on my skin. And I think, I think it's because it is so full coverage and it just looks like cake on my face. It just did not look good. All right. And my least favorite foundation, the foundation that I disliked the most out of the entire year, 60 plus foundations. I think I have like 76 videos in my foundation playlist. Now, some of them are from 2017. Some of them are the wrap up videos. So there's at least 12 of them that are, or 10 of them because I think I missed a wrap up video earlier in the year as well. So there's like 10 videos in there that are wrap up videos. So there's 60 something foundations that I tried this year. Like I said, I think it's 62. I think it's 62. It's either 62 or 63. Um, but out of all the foundations I tried this year, this is the foundation that has stuck out in my head as the worst foundation that I have ever tried in my entire life. And this foundation is the Hourglass. And this is an expensive foundation. <laughs> expensive foundation. This has one fluid ounce. It is the Immaculate Liquid Powder Mattifying Oil-Free Foundation. And I tried this one in February. Now I have seen some videos of folks who are very, very oily, who love this foundation, who absolutely love this foundation. Me? Oh my, it's just leaking liquid. Hold on one second here. So this is just leaking liquid. I don't know what's going on with it. And it's supposed to be oil-free, but it's got a lot of water in it, I guess. I don't know. Um, anyway, this, you know, is supposed to be something that is absolutely amazing for people with oily skin. From and, and what it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be liquid and then it's supposed to like dry into like a powder finish. And to be perfectly clear, it just did not look good on me. It didn't look good on me. It looked horrible. Now, I think I said I was going to try it in the summer. I did not try it in the summer. So bad on me. I should have retried it. I just like stuck it in the back of my foundation drawer and never looked at it again. Never. So that's probably why. Maybe I'll keep it around till summer and try it again when I get oily again. But this looked bad on me. Like I said, it was put, my video was posted in February. If you're interested in taking a look, go back and check it out. It, it scarred me. 
I really didn't like it. Maybe, maybe it's possible that maybe my memory of it is just worse than it actually is. That's absolutely positive possible. I don't know. All right. So I have six foundations that have really stood out for me this year that I have actually gone back and reused multiple times outside of the months that I have used them. So what I mean by that is like if I have a March foundation and I retried it in August or I reused it in August because I like it that much. You'll see here in a minute what I'm talking about. So I am wearing one of, I'm wearing my top foundation right now. So you might be able to tell which foundation it is. Probably not, but we'll get to that. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to start with number six. So this is kind of like a runner up. This is not in my top five, but it is a runner up because I have used this multiple times. And I actually tried this out in January of this month. So for me to have tried it out in January and used it multiple times since then, it's definitely doing something right. This is actually the Ulta Beauty HD Soft Focus Liquid Foundation. So this is still available on the Ulta website. It actually only has three and a half stars, but I really like this. I like, it's a natural finish. It's oil-free, paraben-free. I really like how this looks on my skin. I just do. Uh, like I said, I tried this out in January. It is. It, it has stuck with me all year long. I've continued to use it. I've traveled with this, this uh, foundation. I really like it. And like I said, it has stuck with me for 12 months and I've continued to go back and use it again. Um, actually, all the foundations that are my top six, I have gone back and used again and again. So definitely like this foundation. Um, if, if you haven't given it a try, it is Ulta right now on their website. It's $14, but it's buy to get to free. So there's that anyway, Ulta HD soft focus liquid foundation. So that's kind of like my bonus top foundation. All right. My next one, I'm going to go ahead and say this one right here. This is a stick foundation. It is the Stila. What do they call this one? This is the Stila Stay All Day Cover Stick Foundation. Mine is in the in the shade por Porcelain. It is a stick. And then one of the nice things about this foundation is that it also comes with a concealer on the top. And I do actually like this concealer. Um, some A lot of concealers I don't like. I do like this one. So I do like that it's like a two-in-one. It's a foundation and a concealer in one little package here that you can use. They actually make a liquid foundation that I do like as well, but I do like the stick one better than the liquid. They're both really good as far as I'm concerned. They worked really well on my skin. I like them both. I tried this out in July. So... Yeah, stick foundations. Stick foundations and I seem to get along really well, especially in the summer. I did all my, I did a, a stick foundation video in December, but I also did one in July. I think I might've done another one. I can't remember, but I know I did one in July and I know I did one in December. I may have done another stick foundation, I think maybe, maybe, I don't know. Um, but I really do like this stick foundation. So that would be my like number five. All right, my number four. Yeah. I'm going to say this is my number four. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body. I'm going to actually pull it out of the box. In I, I tried this out in October, and I actually didn't rank it in October because I did return it. I had bought the shade 1N, and it was a little bit too dark for me. This is 0N, and this is a little bit too light for me. I had returned the 1N. I might, the next time they have a 20% off sale at Sephora, I might buy the 1N and mix the two. Um, but I really like this foundation a lot. A lot, a lot. Uh, it really doesn't transfer on me. It looked good on my skin. Um, this is supposed to be face and body, so you can wear it everywhere. Um, I just used it on my face. I didn't, don't really care about putting foundation on the rest of my body. Some people do. I personally do not. I don't, I wear a lot of clothes. <laughs> uh, this is about the most skin you'll ever see on me and my arms. Um, Anyway, I really do like this foundation a lot. And you actually get a lot of foundation in here. This is 1.6 fluid ounces. And I think it's like 36 or 40 or $42, somewhere in that range, around the $40 range. So you get uh, more foundation than a lot of other foundations will give you for that same price range. A lot of other foundations will only give you one ounce. Like I said, I think, I think it might be 42. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely interested in going back and getting one N, even though that's the one I had returned and mixing the two because this one's just a little bit too light. The one ends just a little bit too dark, but I really like the way this looked. Like I said, I, I wore this in October. This would have been my number one. I ended up not ranking it because I had to return it, but I really like that foundation. All right. 
these next, I know my number one, but two and three are hard. Yeah, two and three are hard. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, so this is gonna be my number three. This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. Um, I do like this. Th mine is in the shade Porcelain. I do like this. This is my favorite stick foundation. I keep going back and wearing this again and again. I brought this with me when John and I went away for a night for our anniversary. This is my foundation I wore when we went away. Like we just went away for an overnight trip for our anniversary. Um, this is the foundation I brought with us. Um, I really like the way it looks on my skin. I don't know how much I really need to say about this. A lot of people really like this foundation. This stick, this, this is like their top stick foundation. And, and I can see why there are some people who really don't like this. Um, but for me, it worked really well on my skin. I really like the way it sat on my skin. I really like the way it made my skin look or makes my skin look. I keep going back to this foundation. Yeah, I will travel with this. I really like it. All right. My number two is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. Now I have it in the shade Snow. It's too dark for me, just point blank. It's too dark for me. They came out with another uh, lighter shade, I think called Swan. I went in the store and I swatched Snow and Swan side by side. I went into Sephora, swatched them side by side. They're basically the same shade like basically the same shade. My biggest problem really with this is the undertones are very yellow. I mean, it's called peach perfect, very, very yellow. Um, and I don't have yellow undertones. So that's a problem for me. My other problem with this is the scent. If you've ever smelled this, it is very, very heavily scented. Now the, the scent does fade once you put it on. Um, but the thing that I like the most about this foundation is that once you put this foundation on, it doesn't budge. It doesn't budge. I mean, I can just literally like rub my arm across my face. It doesn't, no, I didn't try that. I didn't try that. Maybe I should before I say it. But I mean, I was touching my face. I it nothing did not budge. That is like number a number one for me. That is why I like this so much. It doesn't budge at all so i really like this if you if you haven't tried it before and you're not sensitive to scents you might like this if you are sensitive to scents i would definitely go into sephora and swatch it first i can handle this because the scent does go away pretty quickly i also have the powder the powder however the scent sort of lingers with the powder at least i've found so i don't wear the powder very often even though it's a very good powder um but yeah number two for sure in 2018 does not budge doesn't budge so my number one foundation if you've watched my channel you know i keep going back to this foundation i have referred like i was actually watching my wrap-up videos and i kept referring to this video oh did i say I, I tried this in february i tried this in february if you're interested in watching that video um anyway I keep going back to this this number one foundation i have tried it i have spoken about it in uh, monthly wrap up videos. I've compared other foundations to this. I actually tried this foundation in January of this year and I just keep going back to it. I have traveled with it multiple times. I really like this foundation a lot. Can you guess? It is the CYO long lasting foundation life proof. I love this foundation. I have it on today. It is a very good shade match for me, I feel like. Um, looking in the mirror here, I think it's almost spot on. That was one of the other nice things about the Ulta HD, by the way, is the shade match was like really, really good for me on this one. Um, and I have difficulties with shade matching, but the Ulta HD was like a spot on shade match. This is pretty good. This actually has more of like a gray undertone. So if you don't like that, you're not going to like this, this foundation. Um, I have it in the shade 101. I'm sure some of the other shades probably have different undertones. I have it in 101. Um, I just really like this foundation. It's like seven or eight bucks, Walgreens. I bought it online. You can see how much I've used of it. And for me, that is a lot of foundation. I have not gone through the whole bottle, but I literally have been trying five foundations a month all, all year. So I don't really often go back to foundations unless they're sticking in my head. And this one stuck in my head all year. I would, I would, like I said already, I would compare other, other foundations to this foundation. I have gone back and taken this with me for travel. I, I really like this foundation and for seven or eight bucks. Like I have 
Dior. I've got Too Faced. I've got Stila in here. I have the Hourglass was in my bottom. Um, and I've tried a lot of foundations. Like these are all the foundations I tried uh, with another several here. Um, NARS. I, uh, I've tried NARS. I've tried Kevin Aquan. I mean, I've tried a lot of foundations. And for my number one to be CYO, a $7 foundation from the drugstore, it's good. It's, it's, it's a good foundation. If you haven't tried it yet, I would definitely recommend picking it up. Like I said, it's $7. I ordered it off for walgreens.com. You can get it at a Walgreens near you. I really like that foundation a lot. So there you go. So I just wanted to say real quick that in 2019, I am going to be switching up my foundation reviews. I have decided to no longer do five days of foundation with a foundation wrap up at the end of the month. I have decided to switch over to doing a foundation Friday, every single Friday. So if you like my foundation reviews, come back and watch my videos every single Friday. That is when I'm going to be doing my foundation reviews throughout 2019. So I'm going to be doing a few less. I'll only be doing 52 foundations um, for the 52 weeks of the year or thereabouts, depending on how many Fridays there ends up being. Sometimes there's one more or one less, but um, I will be doing foundation Friday throughout 2019. So uh, I hope you come back and watch those next year. Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. If you haven't already and you would like to be, please hit that red subscribe button. Like I said, I'm gonna be continuing throughout 2019 to do foundation reviews. I've already filmed a couple to get me started in January already. So hit that, also hit that little bell to notify you when I do upload new videos. And if you have any comments, leave those in the comment section down below. What do you think of my top six and bottom four? And what are your favorite foundations? Or tell me a foundation that you absolutely hate as well. I would love to hear that too. So. Leave me a comment down in the comment section down below as well. Um, also, one more quick thing. I do own an online clothing boutique. It is animities.com. We are right now running a winter wear special through the end of the year. It ends on December 31st at midnight. The, we are uh, providing a 25% off coupon code off of all cold weather clothing. So it is buy, like goodbye, B-Y-E 2018. You can enter that code at checkout and you will get 25% off all of the cold weather clothing that we have. It's only for 10 days. It is going on right now. Go ahead and check it out. Nimines.com. Link is in the description below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next Epic Beauty Fail. Bye. <laughs>